Nara was the champion that had just come out when I started playing the game, so I don't really know why, but there's something I really like about this champion. Any way to counter him, pick someone like Pantheon who can poke the hell out of him and stun him if he gets too close, Wukong can burst him down very quickly when he's in his low form, and Irelia has a very easy way with him because of all her mobility and CC. Teemo for his blind, Jace for his range, and Darius for his damage output make other good counters too. Nara's passive makes him the only champion with a transformation which changes all of his abilities without him controlling it entirely. It's ranged character that makes his Q throw a boomerang that deals damage to all enemies it passes through. Catching it when it comes back reduces the cooldown by half if caught in mid-flight or entirely if caught at the end of it. His W makes him deal extra damage for every third auto he hits and also grants him a boost in movement speed. His E makes him jump and if he lands on a unit then he'll bounce again also gaining attack speed. Mega Nar is a melee champion and his Q makes him throw a boulder that slows enemies but this time it doesn't come back. His W makes him strike a target location that stuns all enemies struck and his E also makes him jump but doesn't allow for a second bounce. His ultimate can now be activated to throw all enemies around him to a desired location, also stunning them if they hit terrain and dealing extra damage. He keeps building Rage as Mininar, which you can see as the bar below his health. And when it's full, casting an ability will transform him into Mega. After leaving Mega, he can't regenerate Fury for 15 seconds, so using this time to strike could be nice. As for spells, Teleport is an almost guarantee and you should consider taking it as well. He's pretty good all throughout the game with good damage output early and mid, as well as utility as a tank in the late stages of the game with the potential to stun an entire team. His level 2 with just his boomerang and his W as Mininar can really hurt you if you let him, and level 6 with Mega is a big threat. Black Lever helped him deal with tanks and Frozen Mallet allows him to pursue people forever because of his passive W. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, keep an eye on his rage bar at all times to see when he's about to turn, use the time when he just turned back to Mini to fight if you can, so wait out his Mega, and don't chase Mini Nar if he already has Frozen Mallet. He has a lot of ways of getting away unless you perma-stun him. Ultimately, have fun doing it.